If you are managing multiple streaming TV subscriptions and aren't sure whether they're all worth it, I have developed a free tool to help you. This is it, the Michael Saves Streaming TV Spending Tracker. In this video, I'm going to show you how this Google Sheets spreadsheet can help you manage your streaming TV costs. So please like this video and let's get started. I will have a link to this free spreadsheet in the video description below. But if you already have a link from michaelsaves.com, that'll work too. And when you click on the link, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. It says, would you like to make a copy of Streaming TV Spending Tracker Make a Copy First? Click the button to make a copy of the master document. And that way, you will have your own spreadsheet that you can rename and edit. And here we are. The first page that shows up is the instructions. We've already checked off step number one by making a copy of the spreadsheet. I'm going to walk you through the rest of my tips in this video. The main components of the spreadsheet are monthly tabs where you'll record your information and the dashboard where you'll be able to get an overview. We'll begin on a monthly tab. I'll use the January one to explain. For every month, enter your services, monthly prices without the dollar sign and usage ratings on a scale from one to 10. Let's start with Netflix, $13.99 and an average usage like a five. But let's say that you also subscribe to YouTube TV, $64.99 as of this recording, and extremely high usage of a 10. Finally, you have the Disney bundle for $12.99, low usage of a 3. You will see a total at the bottom of each monthly tab. That's how much you spent on streaming for a particular month. I will fill in tabs for February and March before I explain the next part. If your services change from month to month, that's fine. Just enter the ones that you pay for during that month. There's no need to make lines for the ones that you don't subscribe to. A few tips to remember now. Always enter data on the monthly tabs, not on the dashboard. The dashboard is for viewing only. If you pay annually for a subscription service, divide that number by 12 to use a monthly figure. And be consistent with the name of the service. Don't use Discovery Plus one month and then Discovery with the plus symbol the next. Because if you do, it'll create a duplicate entry for the same service on the dashboard. If you ever see a duplicate entry, go back to the monthly tabs and make sure that there are no capitalization, spelling, or spacing issues that caused it. Now we will flip over to the dashboard. Once you have entered data into one or more of the monthly tabs, this spreadsheet will populate. Here is what it looks like after I entered three months of spending, and there are three things to review from the dashboard. Number one, year-to-date spending by streaming service. Number two, year-to-date average usage rating by streaming service. And number three, year-to-date spending for all services combined. Use data from the dashboard to manage your streaming TV budget and decide which services to keep or cancel based on the average usage rating. Drop expensive services with low usage ratings first. To make the most out of this streaming TV spending tracker, here is your action plan. Number one, set a monthly streaming TV budget. Determine how much you can afford to spend on streaming TV and track it on the monthly tabs. Number two, log your transactions. Record every streaming service that you pay for and the monthly price. And number three, review your streaming TV usage. Consider pausing or canceling monthly subscriptions that you're not using very much. Evaluate usage by analyzing the average ratings on the dashboard. And here is my rule. If I can't remember streaming three things from a particular service over the last month, I typically pause or cancel the subscription. I have a link to the Michael Saves Streaming TV Spending Tracker below. When you open it, make a copy of the master document to create your own spreadsheet and give it a new name. I worked with a couple of very smart people to make this spreadsheet happen, so I hope that you find it helpful. And thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like it, and I'll see you back here for more ways to save on streaming TV.